I was working with a student yesterday and we were discussing a Tom Petty song, Anything That's Rock and Roll, and we came up with a lick that uh, I really enjoyed practicing and showing him about it. Maybe you would like it too. Uh, this song was in the key of B and uh, there was some rhythm like this. <laughs> Some of that general good stuff. So we made the point that that B power chord at seven and nine is also part of a full E shaped B chord. That's the E shape, then you lay your first finger flat across six strings. So that contains the power chord. And this is called the pinky dance. that kind of rhythm stuff. So, not only does that B bar chord give us that power chord, but the two skinny strings gives us kind of our Chuck Berry. Kind of, it's like a launching pad for soloing. Very simple and easy and fun to do. Sounds good, I play it all the time. That's your pointer finger, seventh fret on the first and second strings, laying flat. And I was actually thinking about uh, Keith Richards and uh, a lick he did a lot on, uh, I heard it on the, the Some Girls album and a lot since then. Uh, and I see Chuck Berry play it too. It's this little thing. So you've got that double sevens. All you're gonna do is add pinky on 10. That's a D and ring finger on nine, which is uh, an A flat or G sharp. It sounds kind of uh, jagged. And you can also bend it just a little bit. And that does go back to the double sevens. And I think I was making the point that it's good to just leave that pointer finger in place. Pretty basic, but very cool. All right, there's a couple more things I want to add to that. I'm going to take the ring finger, lay it flat on the ninth fret, on the second and third strings, that is uh, the A flat and an E. That's a good one to bend, just a little smear. I'm gonna add two more notes. Index finger is going to crawl over a little bit on the seventh fret to the second and third strings. And finally, I'm going to add a root note, ninth fret, fourth string. I like to play a game with numbers. You could hit this note once or twice. How about three times? Four. So if you ever feel like you're not creative, just play with numbers. If you're more of a engineering type person, there's one, two, three, four, maybe five. That's how you can vary your phrases. Okay, let's say I'm gonna go, I'll hit uh, a different one two times. Or three times. Pretty simple, how about four? <laughs> how about the first one two times? Everything two. 
about reverse it. Whatever you want to do, you can just get crazy. It's it's infinite the amount of different things you can do with just a handful of you know basically it's one, two, three, four, five. Basically five notes. You can always slide into the double sevenths. You can also bend these, the second and third strings. string 7th fret A B sounds good That's fun. Mm -hmm. 